If this deck doesn't prove that Flesh Giant and Battlegrounds Battlemaster need a nerf, I really don't know what else I can show you guys. Handlock is back in the standard meta, and it's all thanks to Zyros' build that he took to rank 2 Legend. This deck just feels so good that even other competitive players like Orange have been talking about this deck very, very highly. And it's mostly due to Battlegrounds Battlemaster working so well with your Flesh Giants and your Netheron. Like, a Netheron just feels like another giant, so I would highly recommend running this card if you do have it in the list. But, like, it's just one of those cards to where it feels perfect in this particular list. So let me go ahead and walk you guys through the new hand lock because trust me this deck is an absolute powerhouse on the ladder right now unlike other quest line decks this deck has a lot of different win cons there is the wind fury win con that's very uh, consistent but there's also the quest line win con there's also uh just playing the control plan and outlasting your opponent with the delete cards in your deck such as soul rend there's a lot of different situations to where it's not necessarily about killing your opponent but you have to outlast them and face hunter is a very perfect example of what i'm talking about i think i went 3-0 against face hunter on my last stream with this deck just because the out like the, the healing and the removal that you have completely outvalues anything that they can do unless they just have the perfect amount of damage with their uh with their top decks like you the hunters really got to get lucky against you because you have ults like you just have so much healing you have so much healing to where they can't ever touch you and that's very very common with a lot of other matchups except for like paladin paladin's probably like the worst matchup that i can think of but regardless this deck feels like it has so many different ways of being played uh has many different ways of winning the game and that's exactly what i love out of hearthstone decks is versatility so if you're looking for a deck that's not just all in on the quest line this may be the deck for you this deck may be a little bit difficult at first but the biggest tip that i can give you is just to cheat as much mana as you can and just try to like focus on a perfect blend of pressuring with the board and removing your opponent's board because you need to make sure that you're not dying to like you know mages uh aoe and uh their direct damage because like that's that's like probably one of your hardest matchups is either the mage matchup or the paladin matchup but there are ways of winning it the biggest thing that i can suggest is knowing when to go for board and when to go for healing and also when to go for your raise deads there's a lot of interesting uh situations to where you can play raise dead in order to get multiple one mana copies of your netheron or the uh or the null so like just keep in mind that this deck has a lot of different ways of building up a large board out of nowhere so if you can catch uh your opponent off guard with one of these boards and they don't have enough freeze or enough removal then these minions can literally just steamroll a game like it's nothing I personally went 16 and 9 with this deck and I had nothing but fun while playing it. Even some of my even some of the losses that I had were actually a lot of fun to play because they were very close games and my decisions really did matter with this deck. That's something I really do enjoy about this build of Handlock is that we're actually present on the board. We're somewhat playing a control deck if we need to, you know, control like a face hunter or something like that. And our decisions absolutely mattered with this deck. So if you're looking for a deck that's all about playing on board and not just, you know, relying on a solitaire-like strategy, this is the perfect deck for you. And I would highly recommend playing it now because I really think that Flesh Giant should be 10 mana and uh, Battlegrounds Battlemaster could even be bumped up to 7 mana and still be playable. Battleground Battlemaster at 6 mana is still kind of worrisome for me so i'm not sure if that's gonna really do what it needs to in order to prevent the card from being so widely played it'll stop aggro decks from being good but if this deck had a six mana battle master it's still gonna be slotted in the deck probably at two slots but I hope you guys enjoy this take on the new handlock. I tried to include as many different games as possible, showing different win cons so you guys can see exactly how this deck can be played and when you kind of have to switch around your game plan. Because it's very important that you identify when you need to go for certain game plans, such as healing, such as generating board, or going for the quest line. I only had like one or two games that I won with the quest line. One of them will be included in this video. And it's actually kind of uh, kind of funny that it was against one of my. Uh, unfortunate uh, unfavored matchups so i hope you guys enjoy these clips coming up ahead because this deck was a ton of fun to play and i really wanted to try and uh, show you guys as many different uh strategies as possible because there's a lot of different ways to play in this deck and it can get confusing at first but i don't want to let that discourage you and if you enjoy this kind of content feel free to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel in order to be notified about any other future uploads we happen to come out with the deck code is down below in case you guys love handlock and want to give this deck a try and as always if you want to catch these clips live we stream at twitch.tv slash clark i hope you guys enjoy revisiting one of the most nostalgic decks in hearthstone and we'll see you for the next video uh so i feel like we have to keep removal and i feel like we have to keep less giant is this bait to keep Flesh Giant? Let's find out. I'm doing this for science. I haven't played this deck enough and I have to fall upwards in order to fall downwards, you know? 
I feel like keeping giant isn't terrible if you have some draw. Oh, we're fighting quest shaman. Okay. I'm kind of happy I kept this. Kind of happy I kept this at the end of the day. Just so that way I have, like, something I can, you know, play against shaman. Giant is really good versus any non-aggro deck. I, f I felt that was the case. Like, if you have, like, you know, one card... Like, one card that focuses on just, like, the complete... It just focuses on all the synergies on your deck. Like, it's kind of nuts. If you just focus on completing your quest as soon as possible, you can play your giant, like, as early as, like, turn four, just because of the quest proc sometimes. Yeah, the mulligan. Okay, hold on a minute. Like, I think I just tap here. This is a lot of damage, but I have the soul rend in order to deal with this. And if he goes... He refreshed, right? Okay, he refreshes mana, so maybe he goes in again, plays the 3-3, three, three, and I have the Soul Ren for, uh, for punish. And we actually have some healing, so this won't be terrible. The best part about, like, this deck is the synergy between, like, the Soul Rens and, like, the, uh, the other discard cards. Everyone's playing Warlock today. Warlock's really good right now, Chris. <laughs> it is really good. Me has no clue why Shaman's uh, second quest is completely uh, different from its first quest completion. There's a few quests that's like that. Uh, mages, mages like that as well. Do I coin it out here because I have this and this in hand? I have giant. I could do this, but then I'm taking a bunch of unnecessary damage, and I have no way of playing this. So yeah, we just. Point this out, I feel like. Touch the Nazarene. Oh, we lost a null. Mortal Coil. Okay, we lost a couple of good cards, but better than taking six damage over and over again. But yeah, the Shaman Quest is kind of weird. It's weird, but cool. And I have yet to play this deck because I feel like there's one card I'm missing. There's one card I'm missing, so I don't feel like I can uh, play it optimally, so I'm just not going to bother. Because this is one of those decks where I feel like you just kind of have to go all in on the meme. You do, you do your things and you have no remorse. I could play this just to proc this, but like that feels like a really bad use of removal here, right? Maybe I just focus on drawing cards. I don't think I need to heal. It's just a freaking totem, dude. Yeah. Kind of sucks, but like he passed a turn. I don't really have a way of like making use of this yet, but I can tap into a Netheron. Or if I need to play the okay, now I can play this to kill this minion. That's a lot more useful. Killing spell damage. So I can do this, play this, and then I can play um, the Anetheron, and I'm dealing three. Yeah, I'm dealing my I'm dealing damage or healing myself three times, so the 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 giants will then cost three mana. Yeah, that seems like a good play. Oh, we only have five mana to make to make this work. This doesn't work out. Well, I guess I could just take the healing turn here. I have a tap. Yeah, sure. Oh wait a minute, I should tap first. Whatever. This is this is why I need to I need to slow down in Hearthstone. Even though I like had an idea, I have to like slow down, play the deck better. Cause this is something that I've like I've, I keep doing, man. I was literally playing open cups, and like, when I was looking through my replays, I was just like, geez, I'm playing these matchups terribly. Let's see, how much did I miss out there? Eh, I missed out on on one. That's I mean that could be a big deal. That's that could be a big deal. It's not the worst thing in a situation. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it could be a big deal. Shutterwalk, but for shaman spells. Uh, that would be kind of cool. But I feel like at the same time, suddenly, like, you have cards like, uh, I mean, Lightning Bolt, like, all the direct damage. That would just be insane. And then, sun I mean, at the same time, hold on a minute. Doomhammer would be really nutty. Hold on again. Hold on a minute, guys. Doomhammer would be really nutty. Hold on a minute. I'm not sure how much I'm into this. Oh, what the hell? Another game with vivid spores? In tour esteem. Well, I can go really hard on uh, on my giant's turn here, and I can kill this minion a bunch. So yeah, we tap. 
play this for one. Okay, not the worst thing in the world. Pretty good turn six if you ask me. And this is the reason why we run a Netheron, because there's a lot of there's a lot of situations where you're gonna have a full hand anyway. I mean the deck's called handlock for crying out loud. I feel like a card that rewards you for having a full hand is a good idea. And this is like a reason to not to not dust this card. I almost dusted it. I almost said said it was useless just like you guys probably did. But I kept it in good faith. I kept it in good faith, and now I might be able to uh, win some games with it. I think Broom should be talked about. If used correctly, it's a broken comeback card. I mean, yeah, but, like, what would you cut for it? Like, okay, so Raise Dead. Raise Dead, like, with Broom just feels so bad, though. Maybe you cut a Tour Guide? What if you cut one tour guide and, and ran one broom? Oh, what the hell, bro? That was so good. That was so good. How hasn't br uh, broom been nerfed to like two minions? Uh, because it's not even that good right now. I mean, in wild, it's pretty decent, but right now. Oh, hey, look at this. He didn't kill the eight drops. I wasn't even paying attention this game. I feel like I, I had a lot of like misplays and, you know, slightly, um, Slightly unoptimal uh, microplays, but yet here we are dealing what 32 damage on turn eight like it's nothing Okay, so this might be the mirror. So let's just hit the big minions, right? Some removal might be useful if this is zoo, but I kind of just want to play a big minion I don't know about you guys. How does big minion sound? I haven't faced a single questline uh, warrior. No kidding. What do you think of it? I think questline warrior is actually really good But the problem right now is that mid-range strategies can't survive The reason why I think that card is good is because it absolutely trashes um, It trashes control decks. It's literally infinite resources and Warrior doesn't really have that many ways of doing that outside of like dead man's hand Imagine coin the backfire. Is that actually the way to go? Do we coin backfire? We could. I'm gonna do it. It just feels right. Like in the mirror, this just feels right. I'll get like I'll get more like three mana cards. Okay, so now I can play this for three mana. Worked out. I think I might just need to keep tapping here, though. Okay, so he's got his backfire. There's the Netheron. So yeah, I should just tap so that way he'll be uh, the cheap next turn. This will be uh, one, this will be two. Yeah, this worked out, this worked out. This was a good use of coin. I always worry about like, uh, you know, like using coin too soon, sometimes in the Warlock matchup. But at the same time, like just holding on to another card just really is good. But I mean, I use the coin pretty proactively here. So here we go. I can do the trades. I could even tap and play this. Hold on a minute. Yeah, that also works. And you really just want to, like, outdraw your opponent here. Because even if you go to Fatigue, like, you have the Tamsin. That's the whole reason why it's in the deck, right? Worked out. Hemba Paladin is a mid-range deck, uh, so that isn't true. Mid-range decks can't survive in this meta. It's, it's less of a mid-range deck, more of a scam deck. Like, yeah, it's kind of a mid-range deck because it plays minions, sticks damage and whatnot, but, I mean, it's more of a scam deck because of all the, the like, the damage it can, uh, generate out of nowhere. It's more because of, con it's more because of Conviction and Battlemaster. 
and you just make really, really big minions, and if your opponent doesn't deal with them, then they win. So, yeah, it is kind of a mid-range deck, but it doesn't mean that mid-range strategies work right now. This is kind of like more of like a control deck than it is like a mid-range deck. But it does have like ways of playing like a mid-range deck. Just play a big minion on like, you know, turn four or something. Do you have the answer, sir? And then they don't, and then you're like, haha. Cry more. <laughs> Cry more, nerd. Let's see, I could deal a lot of damage to myself right now. I think that's actually the the play. Could do this. Deal five, play raise dead. I had a Netheron and and a uh, and a null. So that's actually enough mana to play everything. Yeah, this just works. So before turn five, I have played two Netherons and two Nulls. How much mana ha is that? Has that been cheated now? How much mana has been cheated in this game? Uh, a lot. A lot of mana has been cheated this game. Mana does not exist in this deck. You see a minion and you want to play it, just jam it on the field. It'll work. <laughs> what about Questline Druid? Isn't that a mid-range deck? And it's not good. Like, it's okay, but it's not good. And the version in Wild is an aggro deck. Like, it is a deck that can, you know, win against Mage, but you don't win because of the mid-range aspect. You win because of the armor generation. Oh boy, so he's got a giant too, eh? I have a soul rend into this that I could play. Is that worth it? Is that worth? Hmm. Don't know how much I'm in. I mean, I'm not really that in love with it. But I can play a flush giant back. That's a reason to do it. I am at, I am at 15 life, so I mean, I can't have that minion be sur I can't have it surviving. Like, it's gotta go. Bam! Your turn. Watch him do the same thing. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, he did kill a lot of cards. So, he could play, like, the Blood Shards. So this is kind of upsetting. But he's got no more, uh, no more Soul Runs. Still, though, dude. That, was, that turn was insane. That is my current. All right, so he has this into a into another clear. I still don't have um, my bristles online. Wait, if you play Tamsin into Soul Ren, does that work? That works, right? So, yeah, because it's whenever you cast it, so it's like Pyro. Ooh, hold on, man. that's really good. Play this for one. Maybe draw. Maybe play a giant as well. And now I can play these minions for value. Yeah, I should play this as well again. Oh wait, no, I should have played the taunt. 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 Bad streamer. Bad streamer. You played a one-one instead of a six-six. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, streamer? You could have played Wind Fury minion. That would have been 10, 22 damage. This Warlock was probably good. Yeah, this Warlock. Okay, he dealt damage to himself. We just helped his quest, actually. This was really bad. Mm. Bad streamer. He would have had to play to 6 6 and just deal damage. Well, now I can double this up, but I mean, I could just kill them myself. So that just sounds like the better play. If I also hit the other unstable Shadow Bolt. I could do this and get my last bit of damage, but then he's gonna play his camps in here. Yeah, let's um, you know what? Let's actually go for board. I see a better play. We get the healing, and then we're just like, haha, deal with it. And we also tap. Well, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> I say, I say that worked out. Yeah, man, she go burr. Oh, Power Bass cast Aster Spells? Yeah, they, they've changed that card. They, 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 they changed how that card worked. That's how it used to work was whenever. But there, there's been so many changes to Pyromancer, I can't even keep up anymore. But, um... 
You can play Tamsin into Soul Ren and you can get the copy of Soul Win, right? That's the that's the big question at the end of the day, and I think you do. I think you do get the card. Like really, Tasman? Like I don't really. I, I, okay, Tamsin. I really don't play it that often. Like the one that's actually in the deck. Ow. Dang. Maximum value. Maximum value. He actually plays two hysterias. Okay, that's that's interesting. Not a lot of people play hysteria right now. Play this. Uh, I won't. I don't have enough damage to kill this. Let's see. Check this out. I have to use a little bit of resources, but if I can get a really good soul rend here and then make him take my damage, yeah, this is gonna work out very nicely. I still have a raised dead in my deck, but now I can just focus on tapping. He hasn't played his Tamsin yet. So now I'm really hoping that this into this can work out. I'm really glad that I played mine before his, but he does have, you know, the initiative with five mana. Do you think the new Tony will get changed to be affected by spell damage since he uh, reads cast? Uh, I mean, probably not because again, it's not your hero casting it and your hero has the spell damage. I mean, the thing that kind of sucks about Archmage and Tonight is that I feel like there's just no way that he ever will see play. Like, three fireballs randomly? Like, if it's not going face, why does it matter? If it's not going face, why does it really matter? Okay, so now... Okay, what if I place uh, Tamsin into the Soul Rens? Does that work? Let's find out, I guess. So she does give it to us. There's a flesh giant and a drain soul left. Nice. Nice, nice read, Clark. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, risky business, bro. Yo, what's going on, Jack Jello? Good to have another F2K member among us. Good to have you here. Hope you're enjoying this game of Hearthstone. You uh, you play some Hearthstone? What do you stream, my man? What do you stream? A lot of people complain about the Giant at the moment, but I feel like Raised Dead is more problematic. I also agree with that. But at the same time, turn four Giants are kind of a, a problem. Like, Giants are, like, look at all the good Warlock decks right now. Aside from the one that literally plays Tamsin on turn five, they all have Giants. And Giant just does the same thing that it's always done. It's just present. It's just there. <laughs> it doesn't go away. Okay, this is actually really good. This is a lot of healing. Wait, hold on a minute. Wait, hold on a minute. This is a lot of fatigue. Strike, then strike harder. Strike harder. Hit it harder. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So that's four, six, then nine. I need to deal two damage to him. Crap. He might end up killing me here. More bones to knock. He might end up killing me here. Soul Ren? Another. Ah. Oh, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm gonna need another turn. But I have another Anetheron. I have another Anetheron. I think I actually might win this. I think I actually might win this. He literally, yeah, he needs to kill me this turn. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lord Jirax is too slow. Yeah, he's just way too slow. Mm -hmm. Who needs Jiraxis when your own fatigue kills your opponent? 
Oh my god, that was an insane mirror, dude. I feel like I actually made a lot of really good decisions that, that game. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Lord Jaraxxus also does not draw cards. Lord Jaraxxus does not help us out in any way. Like, the 6-6s six are not enough. The 6-6s six would be the main reason why you would run want to run Jaraxxus. And, uh, yeah, he's just not good enough. Apparently, this is a really bad matchup for us. But I believe in the Giants and the Anethron that's currently in my hand. Yo, what's going on, Paradox? How's the, uh, how's the grinds? Hope you're having a good one. It's pretty late for you, isn't it? I guess the grind don't stop, do it. <laughs> the grind just don't stop. Oh, it's only it's only 2 a.m.? Yeah, it's not that bad. Could be worse. That's a problem, is that Jaraxxus isn't a playable card. We have a problem. We have a problem. Jaraxxus isn't playable. This is not this is not the Hearthstone I signed up for, Blizzard. What happened? When did we lose our way? Okay, so I tap, I go to seven, I draw a card, go, go eight. And then I can tap, be at nine, play tour guide. I don't want to do that. I don't want to play tour guide to play into a Strauss cards. But at the same time, I want to be mana efficient. So is it better to play tour guide into mortal coil? Or is it just better to play tap and then do all that next turn? I think it's better to play tap right now. If I would have done that. Eh. Currently 70% win rate over uh, 7 cups so far. If I can keep this up, I'll be with ease. Bro, you should teach me your secrets. I played 3 open cups today, and I, I, I did terrible. My decks are probably not that good, but at the same time, I felt like I just didn't play them well. I, I swear, dude, like, I, I can play good Hearthstone, and then I play an open cup, and it's like all of my knowledge goes out the window for some reason. Don't ask me why. I, I, ask, I ask myself these questions all the time before I go to bed at night. <laughs> this might have been the turn to play the turn four giant. Actually, did I have the capability? No, I didn't. Banning the scam decks like uh, Mage and Demon Hunter. I'm using Hunter and Quest Shaman. See, I thought about about running a, que a Smork lineup, and it was the only one that did well. And by the only one it, that did well, I mean it's the only one that actually got wins. Uh, I used Paladin as my uh, as my other deck. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so if I tap, I can play this for one, this for two, and then this for three. Yeah, we tap. Pretty good turn five. Pretty good. You're off to a good start. You're queuing a uh, hand quest lock. I mean, I mean, I I played this deck in uh, in open cups and did pretty well with it, but it was the other decks I was I was struggling with. Like, I feel like I just made really bad decisions in my quest mage, uh, uh, quest mage games, and I haven't really practiced the deck that often, because I kind of just undervalue its decision making, but there is decision making in this deck. You gotta know when to play cards in one order. But I just like these other decks more than I like quest mage. Like, quest, quest mage just feels like you're playing a removal, uh, let's see, like a removal game, you know? Versus like this this kind of game where you're playing big minions. I like the big minion strat. Oh crap! This is gonna screw up my raised dead pool, isn't it? That's not gonna be that good. Um. Okay. Well. What can I do here? Why doesn't chat pop up on screen anymore? It does. It it's it does. If you're on mobile, then it's probably cut off weirdly. But um. Yeah, dude, it's on screen. Don't you don't. If you all, yeah, you're just blind, bro. <laughs> you're just blind. But how's it going, Snipemare? Good, good, good that your, uh, good that your blind uh, self is here with us, man. Um, I'm gonna go quiet. Wait, 
Only a Netheron is... Wait, I've gotten a Netheron and I've gotten... Um... Okay, hold on. I get a Netheron and I get a Tour Guide. Do I hit him? I feel like I have to. I hope this didn't accidentally hit him on, uh... Okay, cool. Nice. Pretty good turn six! <laughs> Pretty good turn six, right? Monka S. I usually lurk nowadays. Don't you dare speak to me that way. <laughs> Is he a demon hunter main because he's blind? Get it? Because they wear they wear things over their their eyes that, that blind them. Because they're too blinded by rage. <laughs> My rage gives me super strength. All right. Well, I've got the board, but I don't have the scam wing condition of battleground battlemaster. So where is it, deck? I get to tap for free, but I don't get to play Backfire into the, the Battleground Master. Yeah, the more I play this deck, the more I like it. I really enjoy this deck. And it's just because, like, you play a board. Like, it's like suddenly the board matters again. And against these decks that are, like, trying to fumble together, like, um, fumble together the answers, like Quest Mage, like, I know it's a bad, you know, win rate. I have a really bad win rate against this kind of deck, but I still kind of enjoy this, you know, this, this match. Because at least my decisions matter. But damn, that, that's a lot of removal. Let's see, Battleground Battlemaster top deck means that this will be 16 plus 8, that's 24. I do not have additional 4 damage. You know, idea, what if I play Tamsin into Unstable Felbolt, or, uh, yeah, Unstable Shadow Blast on two of my minions. I really wish that th this guy still had his, uh, his thing. I could just go for it, because then I have Tams I have the Tamsin for next turn. I still have an 8-5, I still have a 4-6, and then I get to play the 7-7 seven seven into, like, backfire and whatnot. That might be a way to win. I don't really see a better move. Or maybe I just hold the. Yeah, I should. I should just hold on to it. Maybe I could have played a Drain Soul on this, so I could have gotten another, uh, another bit of healing. Yeah, that was something else I could have done. Because I was wanting to play like this to kill the minion, but like I can also just use it to kill this instead. So that way I don't have to kill my own threats. Headmaster says your soul is mine like, uh, like, sh uh... oh, really? For, like like sh uh, Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat? I mean, he does kind of look like him. The more I think about it, you know, I've never, never, I've never put that together. He does kind of look like Shang Tsung. Isn't his whole thing about stealing souls? Yeah, like, yeah, I didn't realize how much of a reference that would be. It's kind of cool. I'm mostly doing this so that way I can play backfire. Um, how about I can play backfire with all my, uh, all my draw. Yeah, I can play backfire, deal damage to myself. Maybe, maybe keeping the 3-3 three, uh, three, three alive would have been a better idea. But if he plays, um, once he plays a minion, I'll have these cards ready. I just don't see the, uh, 3-3 three, three getting, uh, getting any use right now. I still think I should have played the Drain Soul. So that way I have some more healing. 
Let's see. Okay, so I can really tur turbo myself to fatigue, right? Okay, so I can deal three to him, no problem. Three, five. I need to deal seven to him somehow. I guess we start with, with backfire to see what we draw, right? There's no way that this is going to get us lethal. And we need to kill him this turn. I think another back another backfire would do it. Okay, tour guide means that we can tap for free. That's it. Right? Yeah, that's it. Yes! Oh my mm, This is such a bad matchup and I'm oh, I clutched it! Let's go! Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that worked out. That that worked out. I like how we won that game. <laughs> do you think Dean I a tweet about banning one? Oh, what do I think about that tweet about banning one class? Uh, to be honest, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not really a big fan of overhauling Hearthstone to that degree. Because then it's just gonna feel like a different game. I feel like it's it's a. I feel like that is going to create some kind of problem that we cannot foresee right now, and it's gonna completely change how people climb the ladder. And it's also gonna make a lot of decks feel irrelevant. But at the same time, there's a lot of benefits that can come from it. So like, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm kind of on the fence of being like, I don't know if it's a good idea yet. I don't think we should do it, but testing it would be kind of cool. Testing it would be kind of cool because then I can literally play a meme deck and never have to worry about either like Secret Mage or Face Hunter if I'm playing Standard. Like, yeah, exactly. My deck only has one banner. Uh, it has only one counter. Time to ban it. And it really does create a pretty interesting metagame. But the thing about Ladder is the fact that you have the freedom to play whatever you want. And you don't know what you're going up against. Suddenly, that's just going to completely change the dynamic. But then you're also going to have situations to where, you know, you're good against like one, like one, one kind of warlock, but you're bad against the other kind of warlock. I mean, that's not all too common right now. But just as an example, that is, you know, something that can happen. Uh, I just do this, tap, kill this. Oh, thanks for the null, my friend. So I can play this, play the null. Yes, yeah, one mana. Kill this. Get closer to playing the giant. I could even mortal coil. Oh, okay, now I can't mortal coil. It's not just wind fury, it's double wind fury. Yeah, so it's quadrupled the damage. It's almost quadruple the damage. If you have, you know, the same attack on board. So that's just like something that can get out of hand very quickly. Yeah. Have you considered playing Robo Protection and Handlock? I've been having success with it against mages. Uh, against mages, that's actually a good idea. Um, but I'm not really a fan of teching my deck for one really, really bad matchup unless it's like a ooze. And there's like a lot of weapon decks. So like, it's probably a good idea if you're seeing a lot of mages and you really just want to keep playing Handlock, but... I'm not really sure how much of a fan I would be about putting that de uh, that card in my deck because I'd rather just focus on what the deck can do and just charge him with Wind Fury. Our last mage opponent kind of played bad, but at the same time, what if he just didn't draw the cards he needed? So then that just works out for us. Uh, so I think I'm gonna play Null into into Heal after Backfire. Yeah, this just works out really well. Oh, we got another one. So he knows I have this in hand, so we have to play this one. Imagine backfire into like an old giant now. Oh my god, dude! All this, all this uh, mana I'm cheating. Again, dude, like if, if flesh giant costs two more mana right now, this would be all like all the difference. He's got no cards right now. Like, it felt like he's played a lot of cards, but he hasn't had card draw. Hold on a minute, do I just play that? Backfire, plays this for one. I don't really have enough ways. 
is clearing. Yeah, we just played the solar end here. Like, I want to be able to play the flesh giant. no way to make this happen. We'd have to like play this, play null trade here, hit this uh, here. Then we're just not gonna have enough mana. Like yeah, I just have to, I just have to kill the board. This is just the best way of clearing. I still have a battleground battlemaster in my hand, so we don't care that we cleared one. I guess the only card that we really care about is kind of the uh, the um the life steal. All right. So he's one card away from scabs, right? Yeah, one card away from scabs, that's a pretty big deal. But when we have this kind of play, yeah, this looks really good. Okay, so yeah, this is uh this is gonna be our turn six, by the way. This is gonna be our turn six. Yeah, GG. <laughs> GG, dude. Even with your scabs, you can't deal with 8-8s. Eight eights. Imposter Rogue just isn't um isn't able to deal with this deck unless you play scabs in like turn six. I feel like I had a really good start here. And then this guy just ran out of gas. Maybe if he had some more threats and had ways of like returning my stuff to my hand, this would have been like this would have played out differently. But I feel like the rogue matchup is good for us, right? Let me check HS replay. Let's see. I don't see Quest Rogue anywhere. Where's Quest Rogue? Quest Priest. Yeah, he knew. He knew what's up. <laughs> At the same time, how do you like counteract this? Okay, so we have a 52% win rate against Quest Rogue. It pretty much comes down to whether or not they, you know, turbocharge the scabs. But like, yeah, like turn seven, we had eight cards left. <laughs> That is something else I don't like about the idea of um, of that kind of change. Like, I think you might actually be onto something there, Alec, is because um, I don't like the idea of, like, like, for example, here's a really good example of what I don't appreciate from a gaming company. And this is another aspect of Blizzard, actually. This is something about the Overwatch team, the way that it used to be. Uh, there was, you know, I think there was a time where the GOAT meta uh, was just the best, uh, like, you, you had to run a GOAT comp, which was, like, I think three tanks, two healers, and a DPS or something. I think that was, like, the GOAT comp, or... I, I, I'm, not I'm not the best with, like, uh, Overwatch terminology. But there was something going on with the meta, where some players were talking about, like, I, we don't enjoy this, this needs to be changed. And Jeff essentially just said, like, uh, like okay, so, like, you, you would have to play GOATs in order to win. And then the people that weren't playing GOATs were talking about how we need a different way to play the game because we're not having fun. And then Jeff pretty much just said something along the lines of, just play GOATs. And it's like, yeah, that's not the point. We don't want to play GOATs. We're trying to do something else with the game. But now you're telling us that we just have to play the, the game the way that it was, like... Like, you're, you're trying to make us play the game that you think the way it's supposed to be played versus, like, you know, letting the players decide. Like, I think that, like, as a, as a gaming company, you definitely have to decide when, as like, when uh, some aspects of decks are too, uh, too strong or, like, when, you know, mechanics are too broken. I'm gonna play into my yog. Okay, I got, I got rewarded. Uh, but, like, at the same time, like, you gotta be able to know, like, when your audience is straight up not having fun with your game. And if, and if people are being very vocal about it and your response is... Just play the game a different way. It, it that's not really you know constructive criticism in my eyes. I feel like that's exactly what you're talking about, Alec. Where it's just like, why not just block it? It's like that's not the point. The point is that it, I shouldn't feel like I have to block it. And that you know that just raises some really weird uh, interactions in my eyes as well. Okay, I can trade into the minion. Yeah, just tap play minion. I can try to play around Oh My Yog next turn. Yeah, 
this is a really bad, uh, really bad deck against Paladin. But maybe I can cheat something out here, playing like a more controlled deck, because I have a lot of my cards that focus on uh, having no uh, cards left in my deck. So if I just play a little bit defensively here. Divine Shield is the reason why this matchup is so difficult. More bones to gnaw. Well, it doesn't trigger the secrets. Gives me more mana to work with. I could play three two mana cards to play around Oh My Yog. But then I'm playing into his secret. Three, oh, it was three, ta uh, three healers, three tanks. Okay, my bad. I knew that like DPS was like really limited because tanks just you know absorb damage and then dealt damage. Wow, that was actually a pretty mid range use of the five five. I'm gonna go ahead and get this minion, uh, this card uh, blasted because uh, I take less damage and I need healing in this matchup. Ooh. <laughs> we cheated the system. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's an outro. That that's a that's a that's an outro. <laughs> Dude, that's actually insane. <laughs> okay, um... Uh, well, uh, we just do this. We could even tap, right? I guess we could tap. It doesn't really hurt us to tap. I mean, it, it always hurts us to tap. Kick W. Oh my god, dude. that That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Mana burn, kick W. Oh my god. Uploaded daily HS. <laughs> it is inevitable. Dude, that 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 is just that was just perfect. <laughs> Nothing else cool needs to happen today. We 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 got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Alright, so another oh my yog. Wait, what if it happens again? What if it happens again? Get more healing. Oh, okay. Well, I bet he wish he had it that. But I, I really, I bet I, he really wish he had that. Okay, so um, wait. I could just heal, tap again. I'm just denying his outs right now. I really want to be able to play this, but I think I can wait one more turn. I could tap again. Tap last move. I'm sure it will be featured. Yeah, it definitely will be. That that's <laughs> that's just we'll funny, dude. I'm I'm definitely gonna upload that on uh, on Twitter, and just be like, I I I uh, oh my yacht way Han. I mean, we cheated the system. I need to meet some kind of joke along those lines. Okay, so I can soul rend now, and then play a one mana card. So Ren kills three cards. How many minions have I killed? Wait, hold on a minute. You get accustomed to a smell. Nice. Ooh, wait a minute. That that actually worked out better. That actually worked out better. More bones to so I said this deck is bad against Paladin. I think I might have lied to you guys. I apologize. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, stand in front of you all, a honest, changed man, and tell y'all that I was not truthful to you. I apologize. Can you forgive me? Can you accept my apology, chat? Oh God, no! I don't. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna get away so easily. 
I don't think we're gonna get away so easily. Uh. Okay, all right, here's another other one. He doesn't have the other one. This is your moment. Whew. All right. I think even with uh, even with another buff, we still could have won that game. But I just didn't want to have to th use my brain any more than that, cause that last turn was just it. That was just it. Okay, I'm actually gonna keep all of this. I'm gonna start my turn by playing tour guide on one. I'm, I hope they are. I hope you're paying attention, cause I'm going to eat you. Okay, all right. So here we go. We're gonna do what I should have done last time. We're gonna do what I should have done last time. I could just take the free tap. I think I do. Right? I don't need it with the demon seed. I don't need it with the demon seed. We just take the. Oh, you're. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No! No! Okay, so this is the game punishing me for t for making the tap when I shouldn't have. The Blizzard nerfs quest locks. Some control decks appear. Some uh some face hunter will uh, disappear. You won't feel himself as good as now. I mean, he's still one of the best aggressive decks. Let's be honest. I just wish that Hunter had some other way of being played. But let's be honest, it doesn't. It has no other way of being played right now. And that's and that's my grievance. That's my grievance, man. There's no other way of being played right now. Blood mage. Coin tap? Mm, probably not worth it. I have I have backfire. I can wait one more turn. There might have been a case for like touch of the Nazarene into coin backfire. God, I really wanted to like potentially save like Tamsin, but there's like a good map look. Yeah, I should have done it last turn. I feel like I have to do this. I have double null plays now. Got to take a little bit of damage, but one into two and to potentially bring back more cards. Play this. This can work out. This can work out. I have to take a little bit of damage, but damn, it's so much. I think I could forgo one card because we're probably going to play a raised dead, right? But then how does this die? I feel like a rhino. I, I feel like I have to do this. Three damage immediately. I get three more life. So that's actually important. Hunter's hero power literally deals two damage face. What do you expect from the hunter class decks? I expect them to have at least one other strategy. That's my only expectation. One other strategy. You're telling me you can't do one other strategy? Like, they can't, I get it, but like, still, dude, it just makes me upset. I just wish they had something else so that way I could just not hate on the class so blatantly, but I mean, I don't have any other choice. Uh, so this only gives me one minion. The veil More bones to none! More bones to none! I really hope he doesn't have, uh... Well, actually, he already played buff Wolpertinger, so even if he does draw the four drop, it's not gonna buff him. Okay, I got lucky on the buffs, but at the same time, it's pretty much, uh... A third of the damage. I guess third damage is fine, yeah. Mmm... That deals four, plus another five. So that's nine. Okay, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We're gonna out-temple him. I get Tamsin, it's just, oh yeah. So one of these has died. Cost two mana. Okay, yeah, I see the play. More bones 
Your turn. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. This is how you beat up the face hunter. <laughs> this is how we beat up the face hunter. Quest Shaman will also see rise after the changes. That deck is also really fun. I think that Quest Shaman is, uh, yes, on the outskirts of being really, really broken. The only bad matchups it really has are, um, are against decks that do absolutely like ridiculous things. So I feel like it can uh, it can actually do pretty well. And every single time I go up against the deck, I get high rolled. So Quest Shaman feels like it could actually be really good. All right, well he's he's dead. He is dead. No more rhinos. Maybe okay. Hold on. Quick shot. Quick shot into something. Nope. Nope. No quick shot. No quick shot. That doesn't look like quick shot. That looks like a weapon that does nothing. <laughs> Lewis Moda Jr. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Good to have you among us. Oh no! Oh no! He returned a one-one. Even if I had the five-five get returned, I still could have beaten him. That's, that's the sad truth. 